Okay, so this particular question, um, by looking at the notation dy over dx, that means this is a derivative. So you're given the derivative and you're asked to find y. So that's an integration question. Okay, so can you integrate a cosine function? Right. Integrating cosine, right? We're not taking derivative, you're integrating. Now you do have the data bullet you can look at. So derivative of sine is cosine. And the coefficient in front of X is just a one. So there's really no substitution here, right? So it's a sine of the angle. The derivative of that is gonna be cosine of the angle times the chain, which is just one but don't forget about the letter C, okay? So that's the first step, the integration. Now, the second part of the question, it's about finding the value of C. They said if Y equal to two, when X is equal to three pi over four. So you're gonna substitute the values of X and Y into the function to solve for the value of C. So y is going to yield a two. X is going to equal to uh, three pi over four. And you're going to solve for the value of C. So what's three pi over, what's three pi over four minus pi over four? Well, that's going to equal to pi over two, right? 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. I'm going to bring the C to the other side. Now, what is sine pi over 2? It's, it's a paper 1, so I can't use my calculator. Um, so I have to remember what my graph looked like. Sine graph, as I said, it's a five dots, right? Middle, top, middle, bottom, middle. This is zero, this is pi, this is two pi. So pi over two is over here and pi over two is gonna to equal to one. So this side is one. If two minus C is equal to one, then C is gonna be equal to one. So now y, find Y in terms of X. Y is gonna equal to sine X minus pi over four plus C, which is one. So therefore Y equals sine x minus pi over four plus one. 